How do you like that? Wait for it to happen one of these days. Oh, I got myself a new studio built. Completely with the uh, carcinogen emitting uh, deflagisticated oxygen device. That's what they used to call fire. Well, good evening, Mikto. I'm just sitting here thinking about things and uh, uh, basically casting off certain hopes that we have. That's what I was thinking about. Um, you know, we, we're, we have a lot of hopes that we gain from all the dreams and this and that, things that we see in society that we want to have, you know. I was thinking about that and women tonight, you know. Um, a lot of you guys have experienced really bad relationships with women. I have not. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm lucky, um, and nor that you are lucky. It is what it is. Um, but even though I've cast off the, the notion of wanting a wife would actually become, I had to swing my mindset so far as to become uh, anti-family and, and whatever else. I don't, I'm not interested in having kids, I'm not interested in having a wife, but for some reason deep down inside I still can't get rid of that desire. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that's dealing with that. Um, you know, I'm 30, I'm almost 39. Uh, it just, you say if we were in a different time period, you know, when people were forced to stay together uh, just for survival, yeah, I would consider it. But, you know, like it goes back to the scenario that these, these things only rarely can they exist without the force of others uh, and the force, uh, just basically external forces holding things together. Um, some of you may disagree with that, that's just my thoughts, my views, but, um, so, you know, when you come to this conclusion that it's not safe or practical to have a family or be married or, you know, even date or being around women, it's, it's almost, uh, can cause some major problems, uh, you have to keep your hands busy with something and that's not always easy to do. Um, I always tinker with stuff, uh, working on machines and things like that, and um, kicking myself in the ass for not buying Bitcoin back in the day when I heard it coming out. So I think a lot of us are, but you can always jump in and see if you can make some go, make some green or make some digits, I guess. Uh, so yeah, it's just it's sometimes you just gotta cope. Have something to for your hands to do to cope with the desires that are still in your heart, but it's not wise to let those desires uh, realize those desires and let them come to fruition in your life. It's it's pretty dangerous these days, and we all know that. Um, so we got to keep our hands busy with things, uh, be productive, and study, gain intelligence. You know, I like I spent many years out in the shop working and I would play the audio Bible going all day long and you know you could get through half the New Testament in a day days worth of work and you know doing that uh, I would pick up on a lot of things and a lot of different perspectives that were not taught in a church setting and maybe even frowned upon in, a, in that type of a setting. Um, several things, you know, I'll keep my opinions to myself on some of these things, but uh, they're a bit controversial, you know, and I'm just interpreting it from what, you know, the writers of the, you know, writing the let, the, the men who wrote the letters uh, of a lot of the New Testament, you know, um, some of them I don't think agree with each other. They get different perspectives on things, and I don't know that that's controversial, but I'll leave, I'll leave my opinions at that. Um, but, anyways, back to keeping your hands busy. Uh, you know, whether it be video games, I don't have television. I gave television up, you know, a long time ago because I saw, I 
I saw it, people abusing themselves with it or allowing themselves to be abused by television. I think it turns people into knuckleheads, and I think most of you agree. So, yeah, other than uh, I have projects I work on, um, I was in town in, in Sioux Falls today driving around it. Yeah, I find my eyes looking around, wandering around at women all the time, and it just, it's its bittersweet. Um, like I say, a lot of, I know a lot of us guys would like to have families, but given the circumstances, it's its not safe to. Um, like uh, Canadian MGTOW says, save yourself, go your own way, or something along the lines. So... Just a few thoughts, uh, I guess uh, some of the things I like to do oh, when I get free time is when I get when I get caught up on work or the, or it slows down, uh, I do custom fuel injection and turbocharging and I work with alternative fuels and oh, if you watch one of my other videos, I haven't put all of them up but I swapped a 13 speed uh, semi transmission into into a one ton pickup that was about a two month long project non-stop and also put a heavier axle under it and i really like driving that around um, it really helped the fuel economy on it and it's just a work truck that i use for pulling things around and you know things like that you got to have a car hoist you got a plasma cutter welders and all that kind of stuff and Eventually that truck will get a, uh, a turbocharged uh, 537 cubic inch motor that I have waiting to go into it. That I'm going to have to do quite a bit of programming though to get that to set up for it. That motor produces 200 on, on I think it was on uh, gaseous propane fuel, it produces 